to be has strengthened his faith in the verge of reclaiming his mandate and he has stated that there is nothing you know on earth that is going to stop him from making sure he unseats Bola Metinimbu. Irrespective of the fact that there are, there are hinges and other things, there are contingencies and other, you know, things that are making the court to, you know, probably adjoin the cases in uh, in subsequent times. That has not stopped Pitobi from making sure he reclaims his mandate. As a matter of fact, Pitobi was in court today with his legal team and other persons and witnesses he brought to court. A lot of persons are not even aware of the effort Pitobi has put in to make sure he reclaims his mandate. Irrespective of the fact that Bola Metinbo has not appeared in the court and he is, you know, moving on with his governance, that has not stopped Pitobi and his effort to reclaim his mandate. The Labour Party presidential candidate in the last presidential election being Pitobi during the court proceeding at the presidential election petition tribunal presented a witness being Eric of a professor of mathematics at Nandazikiwe University, Aqua, Anambra State. As their fourth witness, you see, P2B has presented a very legal witness. You see, P2B is a man who believes in judiciary and he knows that the intellectual responsibility of clearing the doubt of he, the person he has petitioned needs people that are, you know, a, a, educationally balanced he has presented a professor in mathematics that is to say that all the arithmetic that was you know irregularized in the last election will be brought to book the petitioner challenging the election of Bola Metin in Mubim Pitobi's legal team and the last election also presented a rice news director as a witness, that is to tell you that all the interviews granted by the APC and you know Bola Metinimbu and even the INEC chairman before the election. You know, that was one of the reasons why P2B presented the Arise TV journalists and their chairman so that they will come and testify to the fact that, you know, INEC promised Nigerians and all the masses that they are going to conduct free, fair and credible election. However, you know, the INEC chairman being Abuwa Kamemud during the lead council of the Independent National Electoral Commission informed the court that he just been, he has just been served with the witnesses that the court should give him, you know, prompt time to serve those petitions but you know the court has stated it that there is no clear time to make sure that this verdict is being cleared but p2b and his legal team are at the very they are ahead of or even the legal team of bola metinimbu and the legal team of the INEC. you know the lead counsel for INEC or that the bringing the witness on short notice leaves the legal team on the electoral commission as a disadvantage you see p2b legal team served him the papers and brought in the witness they were shocked in court to see those witnesses to see the high level educative person p2b brought to court to testify to the fact that he actually won that election this got them confused this got them you know getting this got them you know a, a bit disorganized and they are pleading to the court that the court should give them time so that they will vet on the petitions and the vet on the papers the, the witness has brought he described the action of the council being a, a Labour Party's, a, you know, legal team as an ambush and all the court to step down the witness to give him adequate time to study the witness and study the documents brought to him. You see, the the P2B's legal team are ahead of all the court proceedings. This is a very hard knock for Bola Metinimbo and his legal team to cry, to carry at this point in time because ahead of all doubt, ahead of all the court proceedings, P2B has made sure he portrays a very good you know initiative to the court the ballot buses and other televised equipments he brought to the court are also evidences you know the chairman of the court being justice Aruna, in a short while stated that the interest of the justice and fair hearing the witness will be led in evidence while cross examination will be heard as at when due you see the court quickly allowed the witness to testify being the professor in mathematics to testify all what transpired within his covers in the last presidential election this is now a very clear time for Bola Metinibu to understand that the court is indeed the last hope of a common man and it is very clear that you know it is advisable for Bola Metinibu to probably work out modalities to see that P2B does not you know rubbish him because P2B has brought in all evidences and every clear things to make sure he reclaims his mandate well Obviously, allegedly, Bola Metinibu and his legal team could be crying now because P2B is ahead of them at his given time in the court. Well, don't forget to always share this video, like this video, and do well to subscribe to this channel so that you always get notified of all the trending videos and the court proceedings.